What's up, everybody? I'm Dreadful Goose. I'm here at the new Murder the Mix Studios. I'm wearing my buddy Kevin Frazard's shirt. You motherfuckers know Kevin. You know that sexy beefcake motherfucker on YouTube. Fucking Jack, fucking plays all these fucking sick death metal riffs. Check his fucking channel out and support his shit because he's a really, really cool dude. And me and him are gonna be working on some cool shit in the future. It's time for another unboxing. Who doesn't love New Guitar Day? Well, I guess people who aren't fucking guitar players. But I'm a guitar player, and if you're watching this shit, chances are you are too. So. Let's get to it. Yo, you already know what's up. I love BC Rich, and I'm really lucky to have several really nice, one-of-a-kind, high-quality, handmade guitars. And when the opportunity came up to get another one, I was like, yo, my man, you got the guitar, I got cash, what's up? Let's do the thing. You already seen the title of this video, so you know, number one, this ain't a warlock. And I'm not unboxing this guitar because you've seen it already and this shit's already out of the box. I got it in my hand, so this ain't the guitar. Enough of the bullshit. Let's get that box. Let's rip this shit open and let's check out this fucking Warlock. Yo, I can't wait to open this thing. So real quick, before I get to the actual opening of the case, I've always wanted, well, you know what? Fuck it, let me not ruin it. Let's just do it. I'll talk later. Oh, oh fuck. That shit is bad ass. Fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck yes. Woo! That's it right there, man. Shit. Get a look at that, man. Oh. Oh, man. Look at that shit. That is bad fucking ass. That is fucking bad ass, man. Holy shit. Man. Peep that. Talk about a talk about a back shot, huh? Baby got back. God damn, dude. This thing is sweet. I love this thing, man, already. Like I'm fucking speechless. So, ah, shit, man. Damn, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I guess, well, what I was gonna say before I opened the case is that I always wanted a white warlock. And some people will say, oh, is it because of Max Cavalera from Sepultura? And no, it's not because of that. I just, I've always, I, even though I love Sepultura, you know, all his older stuff is amazing. Um, but it's not because of Max. I just, I've always wanted a white warlock. I don't know, I just, I just love white guitars. They look cool. I love my white bitch. And when, when I saw this thing, I was just like, shit. Not only is it, you know, the white on black, which I fucking love. It's got the massive diamond inlays right here. We'll get some closer shots of all that. And, and it's got the fucking wicked, you know, widow headstock with the R logo. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Let's move this over here. Oh man, I fucking love that. <laughs> that is so fucking badass, man. Yeah, so when, when I saw this thing, I was like, listen, dude, I need it. Like, I gotta have this. And a week later, it's here. I've actually had it sitting in the box for, for, for a week. 
I've just been so busy cranking up content for you guys, but I had to like stop and put that stuff on pause because I couldn't wait any longer and I just, I had to open this shit up and see it. The neck is actually really fucking chunky, which I like because I, I got big hands. So I like a chunky neck, even if it's a seven string, like I don't mind, like I, that doesn't bother me at all. Um, these are tuners I've never actually used, but Oscar said they were pretty cool. I think these are called Ninja tuners. Check those guys out. Hopefully you got hopefully you guys can see that on camera. Now these I, we got to talk about these. These fucking diamond inlays are the shit. These are my favorite diamond inlays cuz they're like the really big 7 string diamond uh inlays. These things are so fucking killer, man. Check that out. Now, the guitar needs a little bit of a cleaning. These frets, I don't know if you can see, these frets need to be polished and shined up. You know, I gotta, gotta treat the board just a little bit. <laughs> no fucking cracks in the board like my last unboxing with the Mockingbird. I'm gonna clean this thing up and we're gonna get ready to jam. So I was getting ready to put some new strings on it and I noticed that there was a giant crack that literally ran from the first fret all the way down to the end of the fretboard. On top of that, that fretboard was grimy as hell. Yo, it looked like somebody rubbed their butt all over the fretboard. That shit was dirty and gunky as hell. Like, some, like, somebody, like somebody slid the ass crack over the whole goddamn fretboard. Yo, what the fuck? Which is actually, now that I mentioned the Mockingbird, this is kind of like the Mockingbird's brother because they were kind of made around the same exact time. They, they feel very similar. Good thing is that this one has an actual, like a real Floyd Rose to begin with, not that piece of shit bridge that was on my Mockingbird. I knew I had to get this thing over to my tech, but before that, I wanted to try and enjoy playing this guitar. So I cleaned up the fretboard, I restrung it, and when I tried to finish restringing it, one of the fucking saddles happened to be stripped. While it was at my techs, and he was trying to restring it, guess what? Another fucking saddle, not a, it didn't strip. It literally fucking cracked in half. But there are no, no tone chambers on this one, which that's okay, I, I mean, I don't need that. I'm just gonna switch out the hardware. Some of the hardware is in silver and, and gold. You know, I want it like all black. So I'll get these knobs switched out for black. I'm gonna get some top hats. This little ring right here, this is gold, you know, make that black. These studs right here, make these things black. They're like silver now or chrome, something like that. And the nut is also like, I don't know if you guys can see that, silver or chrome, make that black as well. Also, you guys know I'm a DiMarzio artist as well, so I'm gonna get these Seymour Duncans out of this guitar as soon as possible. And I, I, now I guess I have to decide which DiMarzios I'm going to put in it. I'm thinking either the X2N7, which I absolutely love that pickup. I had one in the past on my, my old seven string Stealth. And it's a toss up between that and I don't know, maybe a Super Distortion seven string. I, I don't know, I've never had the seven string version of it. But uh, I, I think I'm pretty heavily set on the X2N7, but let's see, I might go for something else. I was really excited getting my Mach 7, because uh, that's another really, really, really nice, like one of a kind piece. But this is, I guess you can say this is a guitar that I've always wanted, ever since I like, you know, knew the shape even existed, like I don't know, 15 years ago. And dude, I'm still like, I'm, I'm fucking stunned. Like this shit is awesome. The pearl white goes perfectly with my white bitch. And like, I can't wait to get some shots of the two together. For those of you who saw my Instagram post with all my BC Rich guitars, I just have to shoot. <laughs> I guess I just have to redo that shot um, with this guitar now included in it. So definitely have to update the family photo yo but check it 
it's almost 7 a.m. in the morning here, and I gotta be back here in like a couple hours, so I gotta get my ass to bed. I got a full day of like mixing, mastering, and recording more, more music, and recording more videos. So I'm gonna cut this one short, but thank you guys for hanging out with me and checking out this cool fucking badass guitar. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow all my social media links down below. Peace.